Today we are going to learn second lesson in social science. Your second lesson is what is around us. You know that in our solar system, Earth is the only planet that sustains life. Life is possible on Earth because of many factors including the presence of temperature, water, air and soil. The interaction of these elements make Earth's environment conducive. Conducive means favorable to the existence of living creatures. Many elements of the Earth got transformed into liquid and further into solid form. See, Earth consists of lithosphere, means land, which is the solid portion of the Earth. Hydrosphere, means water, about 71% of Earth's surface is water. Atmosphere means air and has certain layers that is troposphere, stratosphere, mesosphere, ionosphere and exosphere. The meeting point of lithosphere, hydrosphere and atmosphere where living beings exist is called biosphere. The elements which got transformed into solid are known as lithosphere, means land. The elements which got transformed into liquid are known as the hydrosphere, means water. The elements which transformed into gas came to be known as atmosphere or air. Above all, the living world which developed due to the land, water and air came to be known as biosphere. In this way, the four spheres that is lithosphere, hydrosphere, atmosphere and biosphere came into existence on earth. The living world needs land for food and shelter, water to drink and air to breathe. Thus, these four spheres together form the earth. We shall learn more about these four spheres of planet earth in this chapter. First one, lithosphere. The sphere on which we live is known as lithosphere. Lithos means rock and sphere means layer. So the meaning of lithosphere is layer of rock. Lithosphere composed of crust and a upper mantle. Crust, mantle and core are the three layers of the earth. The upper layer of the earth is made of soil and solid materials like rock. Approximately 29% of the surface of the earth is covered with lithosphere. This layer is almost 64 km to 100 km thick. The thickness of the lithosphere is not the same everywhere on the earth. Similarly, their interior and exterior do not have identical physical features. It is mostly made up of substances like soil and rocks. See, this is the earth. The earth has three layers. Crust that is the outermost layer of the earth. That is, you can see that blue and green color comprises crust. Below the crust, there is mantle. 
मैंडल इज डिवाइडेड इनटू टू अपर मैंडल एंड लोअर मैंडल एंड इनर लेयर ऑफ द अर्थ इज नोन एज कोर द लिथोस्फीयर कंसिस्ट्स ऑफ क्रस्ट एंड अपर मैंडल the crust is the uppermost layer of the lithosphere the mantle lies below the crust and has denser rocks below the mantle is the core of earth made of heavy metals such as iron and nickel the temperature increases as we move towards the center of the earth The molten rocks in the interior of the earth are known as magma. There are many gases present in the interior of the earth which rises up with pressure and heat. But the pressure of the rocks present on the surface of the earth resists the gases. Thus balance between the heat and pressure is maintained and the crust of the earth does not break when the balance is not maintained the crust break and volcano erupts the lithosphere comprises both 29% of continents and 71% of ocean beds ocean beds means bottom of the ocean landforms like mountains plateaus plains and valleys are seen on the lithosphere what are the importance of lithosphere the lithosphere is extremely important for human life the lithosphere in combination with the hydrosphere and the atmosphere plays a vital role in the growth of plants and animals it provides nutrients to the plants the plants are the sources of food for men and all other animals the land for agriculture industries business forest etc would not exist without the lithosphere most of the minerals resources such as coal petroleum gold etc are collected from the lithosphere Now we are going to learn about hydrosphere. Hydrosphere means water. Seventy-one percent of the Earth's surface is covered by water. The hydrosphere is the liquid component of the Earth. The word hydro means water in Greek, and sphere means layer. So the meaning of hydrosphere is. layer of water it includes the oceans seas lakes ponds rivers and streams on the surface of the earth the area of water is more than that of land hydrosphere covers 71% of the earth surface a water body in hydrosphere that carries a huge amount of water is known as the ocean you know that there are five oceans on the earth surface that is the pacific ocean the atlantic ocean the arctic ocean the indian ocean and the southern ocean The oceans on the earth are huge and deep. The water bodies close to the land are known as seas, bays, straits, gulfs, etc. Valleys. Valleys means a deep narrow path between two mountains and hills. Here Valleys cut deep into the ocean floor with a depth of 10 to 11 kilometers are called ocean trenches. 
the ocean bed has similar features like mountains plateaus vast plains valleys etc that of the surface of the earth ocean contain 97% of the total amount of water on the earth approximately one third of remaining water is trapped in ice caps and glaciers ice caps and glaciers we can see at poles that is in north pole and south pole in himalayas and other mountains some water is accumulated in the lakes and some flows in the rivers and some is stored in the interior of the earth as ground water the amount of potable water is less potable water means water is fit for drinking drinking water is a part of fresh water fresh water is precious this fresh water is required by living beings for their existence what are the uses of hydrosphere vast amount of water evaporates from the ocean surface to form water vapor that eventually brings us rain rain is the main source of water fresh water valuable chemicals minerals salt fishes etc are found in the seas and oceans the seas and oceans have aquatic life inside them the tremendous force of waves tides and currents of oceans are used for generating electricity the oceans are useful as waterways here ends the first part of your second lesson thank you